Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. Uh, today we're doing a quick two-part video. So the second part is going to be update number seven for the Stonewall Brigade project. But the first part and the main part is I want to announce that Tabletop CP has won the favorite YouTube channel in the 2021 Caesar Awards put on by Little Wars TV. So yeah, it's uh, we were blown away by winning that. We were blown away just by being nominated, honestly. But uh, to win it is just amazing. Uh, it's really cool and we're really appreciative of uh greg and everyone at little wars tv for taking the time to put on an award show and tally the votes and do everything associated with that uh, so thanks to greg and all you guys over there and if you haven't seen their uh the award show itself you got to go check it out it's very entertaining i was not expecting something like that and it was just a real surprise and it was a lot of fun to watch so you got to check out the award show itself it's just cool and uh I would also like to thank a, all of my patrons and all the people that subscribe and all the people that interact, us, interact with us on a daily basis on all the various social media uh, platforms. So again, thanks to Little Wars TV. Thanks to everyone who's part of this channel. We really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the update. So today's update, update number seven. I'm just going to go over what, we, uh, what I've gotten done since the uh, last update, which was the live stream, which I think was last weekend. I can't remember now. I think it was just last weekend, but uh, thanks again for Greg and Alfred for coming on. It was a lot of fun. I think it's something we'll probably do again, maybe make it some kind of a regular feature. I don't know, but uh, I do like the uh, format of it and the idea of it. So it's something we're going to play around with a little bit more in the future for sure. So what we'll do now, we'll just show you uh, what we got done, what we have left to do, and we're getting close to the end of this thing. So we should be seeing the battlefield pretty soon. So before I show you uh, the newest stuff, I want to show you again what I got done for the last update. It was the live stream, so I didn't, might not have got a, had a good chance to uh, to show it too closely, but I did finish the cavalry mounted and dismounted. So here are the final, or finally completed rebel cavalry here. So all in gray, they got the yellow cuffs, and there are nine of them. Where's, oh, there they are, my leader here. So yeah, that's the uh, mounted version. And then I've also done the dismounted version of the same guys. So these guys uh, have armed with shotguns and all kinds of mixed weapons. So these are going to be cool in game. They're not very effective in game, I should say that. But uh, they do look cool on the table, so they will see some time on the table. I don't have a leader for these guys. I'll probably just put him in with them when they are going to be dismounted like that. Uh, so that is the cavalry. First thing I have completed since the last update was the fifth and final group of line troops. So these are majority peri metal marching and shirts. And these guys are going to be mixed in with the rest of them just to add some more variety again. Uh, there's a couple of the peri plastic marching in here. So this group is going to be all marching poses as opposed to marching with firing line in the front like the rest of the four groups. That's fine. Um, there's always a place for uh, all marching poses as well. And uh, yeah, so there they are. The fifth and final group uh, and a lot of blankets on these guys I'm starting to run out of ideas for blankets but I think I've gotten better just like I predicted at the beginning that blankets just start getting better as the pro uh, project came to a close but I'm not gonna go back and redo the blankets it's fine so that is the fifth and final group of line troops and I have also finished uh, the cannon so here it is uh, five-man crew and uh, a leader, which is probably going to be this guy here, holding the lanyard. I believe that is the sergeant. Um, yeah, so these guys are mixed um, mixed uniform colors. i got a couple of butternut and a bunch of gray. I've also added some red to the cuffs and the collars and a couple of the hats. Or three of the hats have red on them, which is nice. just adds a little pop of color, which uh, is always nice in an army. And this is the 12 pounder Napoleon I've gone for, as that is a, that was a common type of artillery piece used by the Confederacy, and one that you were very likely to see uh, in, on any battlefield in the war used by these guys. And that is it. So I finished the fifth line, I finished the cannon, I finished all the cavalry, and we're coming down to it. So I'll show you what I have left to do. So the last group of Infantry, the last real unit I have left to do is the six six more skirmishers for a total group, total of three groups of skirmishers. You can see some of them are painted. They're not quite being done being based, but 
I have gotten most of them done and I have two guys left and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little painting tutorial on how to paint the most uh, common colors among uh, Confederate troops, so the grays, the butternuts, and these are going to be the two test subjects for that. So that is the last group of uh, infantry for the force. And last but not least, uh, the horse holders. So when the cavalry dismount uh, and start practice, you, know, you don't run all of them. So normally you'd have nine cab, but when they dismount, you can only run them in sixes with a leader. And wherever they dismount, you're supposed to mark that area with some kind of a marker. So the horse holders are perfect for that. So this guy represents where the horses are going to be in case you need to remount. And they can also be overrun too by enemy. But uh, these are parry metal and they do take up a lot of space here they uh i had to glue two two of the perry bases together to make them fit because they just take up a lot of space i tried to get them on a 60 mil base there was just no way or there would have been a way i could have fit them but i never would have been able to paint them and these guys are going to be hard to paint as it is as close as these horses are together and this is uh this is the last piece of my army i'm probably not going to do any custom jump off points um I'll probably just stick with what I've been doing and using barnyard animals because I have them, but also because in the game there's a chance that any nearby animals can, on a random event, uh, go nuts and break a formation. So having animals right where you deploy, uh, should you get that random event, it could lead to some fun times. So uh, yeah, so that is it for the horse holders. And since I am so close to being done, I'm not going to do what I have been doing lately and showing a whole group shot. Because I will do a video at the uh, the very not the very end, but the the video before the last video, which will be the uh, battle report. I'm going to do just a showcase of the entire completed army. So uh, we're going to end it with a shot of the cannon and the last line group. And again, I just want to thank uh, Little Wars TV. I want to thank all the patrons, and I want to thank all the subscribers and friends I've made uh, over the years doing this. Uh, for all the support, and again, uh, we're honored to have won the uh, Caesar Award this year for favorite YouTube channel. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off, say uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next update.